Okay, I'm recording. All right, this is going to be the second podcast. All right, at the moment, I'm calling it Bing Sake, but it might change. So, I don't know. What, what do you think of that, uh, JTD? Hold on, let me click on your stream right now. I was looking at it, and they go to your actual channel. Yeah. Okay, here it. Oh, too dark here. <laughs> I didn't want to say nothing. I was like, I don't know if that's how you want it. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't sure. I didn't want to question it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. All right. But um, but the name, yeah, it could change because there's this YouTuber called um, Dax Sake, and he's getting kind of big for. Oh really? And I, it didn't come to my mind till later, but at the moment. I like it though. No one's using Binks Sake. So if there's anything, I'm thinking of other names, but going with number two. Um, all right, so yeah, so, so you read this latest chapter, right? Yes, sir. What do you think? What did you think of it? Better than the previous week? Nine out of ten, ten out of ten. What would you first? Okay, what would you give it from a scale of one to ten? I'll give it. I, I'm gonna be. I'll give it like a, a solid eight. I An think. eight. Yeah, because I mean, we did find up. Um, we did find who was the traitor, right? But there was no like. Um, I think the previous chapter left you hanging, right? Who who is this traitor? And this one, they reveal who it was, but they didn't leave anything else afterwards, right? Like yeah. any more like mystery. Like it's been resolved. Now we just. When it, for figuring out why why did this person um, do this trading right I mean what does this person have to gain I think that was the second question uh, but now the first question has already been solved right or been answered who was here did you see it coming or no uh not no not to that particular person but I had it had to be one of the punks right one of the punks uh, in there I just just trying to figure out why um, so let me actually I have it open here. the chapter yes I have it on uh, viz okay so I'm looking at open right now but I don't know what'd you think so far or what'd you think of that uh of that chapter increase your volume uh I give I'm gonna <clears throat> I want to give it like an 8.75, close to a 9, maybe a 9, depending on the next chapter. Like, because of the setup. Like, for, first of all, though, the narrator, I don't know if you noticed the the ones like, something's going to happen the next day, it's going to shake the world, or something like that. Like, what happens? Like, did somebody, did they capture Robin? Did the Celestial, I mean, did the Gorosei get, like, killed or knocked out? Did they capture Luffy? Did, I don't know, did somebody die? Who knows? Oh, I see. Like, oh, yeah, uh, you're right. You're right. The last piece, or the second to the last, uh, ep uh, second to the last piece of the of the chapter, it does say that, right? Yeah. The resolution of this incident thought, the following I, day <clears throat> would inflict kind of a yeah, shock in the world that was all coming. Yeah, I thought that was super interesting, like the, and then the whole thing with uh, what's your name, York like I, I don't know the first thing that popped to my head my popped to my head was that sounds a lot like what doflamingo wanted to be a celestial dragon well again mm, and i'm like could yeah, that be that... <clears throat> i'm like could that be him com <clears throat> controlling her like could that be I was like wait but he can't control the personality no no he can't control the personality unless he like right. he he's using his awakened power and he's able to literally do something like that um, but yeah, they both kind of have the same goals. So, but I, 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 I know, like in my live reaction, I was like, it's probably S Flamingo or Do Flamingo, like either the Seraphim or, or actually Do Flamingo. That, <laughs> that's true. That's true. Like it's like, mean, like why York? Like, like she's supposed to be smart, like a Vegapunk. Like, come on, like you really think they're gonna let you be a Celestial Dragon? They're gonna kill you. Like they're gonna, like already, like they they sent CP Zero to kill the, the Vegapunks and. She was one of them. They were already trying to kill her. 
So that's also kind yeah. of like, I don't know. There has to be a bigger picture. Now, what if it's another Vegapunk? There's, um, I don't know if you remember, but in one of the earlier chapters, I can't remember the number, but in Egg, when they first get got to Egghead, they they found that those mo these monsters like from space and stuff, but they were like holograms, like oh, light yes. light holograms. What if um, York is a light hologram, like the one that because she would she turned to stone also. I don't know if you remember that in the previous, I think, a chapter ago, the previous chapter, or the previous before, the one before that, she turned to stone, and somehow oh, she right. is not stone anymore, and she killed. Apparently, she killed Shaka, and Pythagoras. She stomped on P Pythagoras's head, but that was Pythagoras, right? The one that the head that she stole, or not? Not what's her name? S snake stomped on Pythagoras, right? Boa, Bo, the boa seraphim. Oh, that's yes. Pythagoras, right? The head. Correct. Yeah. It's killers. Yeah. Yeah, and the big explosion happened. Yeah, and then there's at there's your yeah, Atlas, Pythagoras, Stella, um, York, Shaka. Um, hold on, which ones am I missing? There's, I think there's seven. There's two more, and I'm, I'm missing. Did I say Pythagoras? <laughs> yes, you already did that. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, there, yeah, there's two more. But yeah, the, the whole thing with the, the letter P. The whole peep characters with the letter P in their name, they never die. The will of oh, P. Yes. Oh yes. Right? <laughs> so Pythagoras, maybe Pythagoras is still alive. And that, that that's also another interesting thing and um but yeah the also i don't know if you remember i wanted to talk about it last time uh there was like a shadow like a figure like a shadowy figure in the previous chapter one piece i don't did you notice it shadowy figure let me pull it if i can go back right now it's 10 it was 1067, right? 1068 was the new one, right? Yes. So you're saying it was towards the end of that? Uh, yeah, that I'm going to put it up here. If, if Or, you know, you can't see it, but the people could see it, I think, if I show it. Yeah, the... 1070, no, it's in the 70s. 1070... 1077. Is it 1077? Because I have it open here right now. Is it? Yeah, it's that one then, yeah. I don't see a shadowy figure. Is it supposed to like be... Like a face. Yeah, a, a face. That's last week's chapter, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to see where he... Oh, okay, because it's a better scan. Yeah, in the... It's footsteps. It's probably York's footsteps. But yeah, it's in the, the last the last panel. Where, it's, where it says K-Talk. K-talk, K-talk. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, yes. the one I saw, I guess, it looked like a smiley face. Wait, right here, I have it open right here. Um, okay. Yeah, right here, it looked like there was a, a figure there. But I think it was just York walking. I thought it was like, oh, yeah. is it Doflamingo or something? Like, I, I wasn't sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, he got shot, and then, like, he's, she's just walking down. That's what it is. But yeah, I, this is a better scan, okay. yeah. But I thought that was also another. But it could be someone else also. Like, what if like um, yeah, like York yeah, it could be a, a light, a light clone or whatever. Uh, it could be another one of the punks, the Vega punks. And um, do, what do you think? Do you think it's it's actually York? Because there doesn't, they never. It just sounds kind of off. Like, cause she should know better than to be a celestial dragon. Like, come on, like they're not gonna let you. That's what's bothering me. It's like we don't we we don't know something. It's like, oh, okay, I guess. Like, yeah, it's, it's your it like. I didn't expect. I didn't see it coming, but at the same time, it's like, like, it's like we were um like a like somebody in the background was the culprit the whole time, the traitor, and like, we're like okay, but we don't know anything about that person. Like, is are we gonna <laughs> like I, I, dead? I, I think in this in this little 
Well, I don't know how big of an arc it's going to be in this one. Uh, it seems as it's going to be relatively shorter than, than the rest, I think, just because I think they're just going to pick, you know, Dr. Vegapunk up. But I think they they are going to have to touch, you know, a little bit of backstory as to why this is abnormal, right, for uh, York to do this, right? We need to see more backstory to that to see why why would she make this decision? Is there anything in her background that would show, like, maybe she's sympathetic to these <clears throat> celestial dragons? Uh, maybe they have something. I mean, she is a clone, right? So there really shouldn't be a huge backstory. But he did mention uh, on the last, this this chapter, right, uh, that he, they had already had been to that, uh, why is it that? Oh, there to the chapter but um, that they already had visited uh, where the Celestial Dragons are. what is it how is Mary Joa I always mispronounce it yes <laughs> Mary, jo Mary Joas Mary Joa something like that yeah. Mary Joa yeah so they it, he does mention at the very like last panel oh Lilith is the sixth okay go on sorry yeah he says like <laughs> you went to Mary Joa years ago and you really want to be these ghastly hard people right and it's okay yeah so they've already been there before what happened in that you know uh and those trips that they've taken over there is there someone that is changing her mind is there something that's prominent or something maybe freedom maybe that's why do flamingo's the... manipulating her or, or you, maybe she wants to be yeah. the only Vega Punk. That's yeah, and and, it, and, and so that she could be uh, pretty much the puppet of the government. Because oh, also Vega Punk was part of Mads, and he may have had a bad side that we don't know yet about, and she could be representing that bad side. Well, there's also Lilith, Lilith too, but she's stoned. But and um, <laughs> the. But yeah, like the whole thing with the the new neo mads, that's what it's called. Yeah, the the new thing. Um, I was see, people were saying that that they're probably that Caesar and Judge. You saw that in the cover story, right? They form neo mads. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. The, the formation of neo mads. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one thing I found interesting because Vegapunk was in it. Is back in the cover story for Enel, the Enel cover stories, while they were in the moon, the space pirates, they the space symbol they were wearing had like a big head, like Vegapunk, and they had like a a sphere, a spear, like yeah, like a staff or a spear, like a like Judge. They had the Mads tech, maybe, maybe it was something to do with Vegapunk, and. But yeah, um, it's, it's it's interesting because yeah, like speaking of Judge, he probably gave Sanji um, lunar Lunarian DNA, and the same thing with Luffy, oh. with with Luffy oh, also, because yeah. um, Kaido was saying, "Why doesn't my fire hurt you?" And Luffy's able to use fire too, like he's able to do some of he did Elise, he he could do one of Ace's attacks, and maybe. The whole thing about people like he's saying, oh, he, I'm a rubber guy. I, I, I could resist attacks. What if that's just him being his Lunarian? Because, you know, he's not a rubber. Like, it's not a de his devil fruit. Oh, yeah. He's, yes. a, he's a zone or whatever. Or also a zone. But, yeah, he could be Lunarian. If not just Luffy, but Sanji for sure. Like, he could be part Lunarian or something. Like the Seraphim I, I... And, and King. Yes. Yes, yes, I, I believe that's possible because all the injections and all the, you know, procedures that he went under, it wouldn't surprise me at all if that was the case. Um, but if uh, what for Luffy, I, I agree with you there that maybe, you know, since right now, since he's considered not, well, he's a what do they call a mythical zone or yeah myth rare zone. mythical zone or something like that yeah yeah so with that being said uh we did have a lot of insight i know you mentioned the, that uh the fire attacks that he does the red hawk right and 
it, it can contribute like it kind of coins inside with what aces does right so but that was before we figured out you know what type of uh <laughs> double fruity eight uh with that being revealed but uh no i i agree with you w one of the things i i wanted to see if we could talk about i don't know if you if you saw it on the notepad but um the lineage also could be possible uh, Who, whose lineage dr vegapunks oh yeah how the, the way because the way i was looking at it i i, I was re-watching that um that arc uh the what is it the sabody arc where they get separated yeah yeah so i mean i noticed if you remember in this particular um in this little arc right now with vegapunk uh what's her what's his name the the big axe guy uh oh sent tomorrow yes he claims as uh he's ours his uncle the, yes yeah but we don't have to how he he also reverts to uh, Vegapunk as her, as his uh, granddad or grandfather, no? Yeah, I think so. Like old man or something. Yeah, it's like, I, I'm not sure if he, if he means like, you know, like uh, what kind of uncle he means, like an actual uncle or just like, like. A, I want to say it's, it's legit uncle because I mean, shoot. Well, Sentimaru has supposed to have the best defense, and you know who took him yes. out? Luchi. Luchi. Luchi could take out the best defense. So, I'm just saying, these <laughs> these power levels. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so if it's true that if Doctor Vegapunk is, well, one of his sons is the uh, what is his name? Kizaru. Kizaru. Kizaru, yeah. Uh, if that's one of his sons, but did, but that other dude did refer to yeah, Kizaru as an uncle. Yeah. That means there's another. There's another son out there. Who and who's related to Doctor Vegapunk? That that was something that that I was thinking about. He referred to him, and I'm looking it up here. So, Barcelino, right? I don't know if they will mention it here. It was just something that caught my eye. Like, yeah, we also he has... He's able to mess with the light, too. Like, how did he get that that DNA or the blood? He did... Did uh, uh, Kizaru let him? Like, did they... Like, it's kind of... That's kind of weird. Like, why don't... Why don't they have the other Admiral fruits? Like, why just Kizaru? Like, maybe because, yeah, it's related relative and um, oh. the that is I never thought about that that is that is interesting I never thought about besides um, kid being connected to Vegapunk because all of his attacks have practically all of, all of his attacks have punk in the name in, in its name their names True. but that could just be a coincidence a really big coincidence but yeah, they could be related. Like the that 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 make that yeah. can make sense. Why? How? Like why else? How else is Sent Tomorrow involved? Like yeah. Oh no, but a Vega Punk. I think Pick got Sent Tomorrow as a kid or something. He took care of him. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I I think maybe either if they're not related, it could be something that's a, a kind of similar. They to just grew up to. Or he raised him. Yeah. 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 Like raised like both the of them. Luffy and, yeah. Like Luffy and Ace, how they. They grew up together but they referred to each other as brothers maybe they did grow up together and yeah. since he was older he referred to him as uncle I, I i don't know but there is a relationship there so and if it is a, a lineage then you have to assume that kizaro is related to dr vegapunk which could make sense as to why you know you have the px9s having those laser beams that are similar to kizaro so uh, there had to be some type of you know um, agreement right to utilize his power or do studies on him right 
and since they're the science division on that, I mean, they have to have had like multiple meetings, and uh, there, there, there's there should there should be a backstory on that that should be coming to light, and I think it's gonna come out in this arc, right? Uh, because he's on his way over there anyway, right? So yeah, now... it was so before the Straw Hats were going there, he was already on his way there to meet with Vegapunk with the uh, Gorosei Saturn and now like with the Straw Hats there more I think more marine Marines are getting involved so where are they he can move at like the speed of light or faster than the speed of light like what's taking them so long they should have been there already I think yeah there, there, there should there is something that's holding them there or I'm surprised he's not already there right so I wonder how that's going to turn out like because I see that okay. the straw hats are having trouble with these uh, what are they called seraphims or uh, seraphims uh, seraphims so so I mean if they're having trouble with them like I'm wondering how Luffy will fare off with an admiral at this point I mean he just beat an emperor which is great and all but now He's having to deal with, with well, both. Well, he had to... <clears throat> he lost to Kaido like four or five times before finally beating Kaido, taking down Kaido one time. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. yeah that, he, that, same that, thing with Karakuri. He lost to Karakuri like four times. Karakuri went down like <laughs> one time. And that was like I, because he pra practically let Luffy beat him. I still also... Right. The whole Karakuri versus Luffy, like I still thought... Karakuri was stronger than Luffy and he let Luffy win yeah I think he just had bad respect for him in a way where it's just like okay I see that you're trying to get better let's see how far I can take it and then like and then he, he wanted realized, to win again like, yeah yeah like, winning was wasn't like, everything yeah he yeah and he was just wanting him to like see like okay wait hold on this guy is for real <clears throat> I actually have to stop this guy <laughs> because uh he didn't want to also, uh, Cracker, he needed help. Nami had, he needed Nami's help. And he barely, oh, like, yeah, he couldn't even be Cracker. He had a lot of trouble on Whole Cake. <laughs> yeah, he, he actually did. And it was very, uh, I don't know. It, it made me question, like, so, how far he is away from, like, being, yeah, he, like, you're, you're correct. He beat Kaido, but yeah, it took, it took a long time. It took a long time. So, I think and, against uh, a, an Admiral, I don't know. Maybe he he has to be. Unless maybe if they play dirty, like, cause um. I, I think, for, cause Big Mom and okay. She, Kaido is no, Blackbeard's probably the the weakest of them. I don't know, but maybe he has to be stronger now. But I would I would I guess Kaido's down there. I would say Big Mom's probably the, she might be the strongest one honestly, like. I don't know. There's Shanks. Oh, that's... No, oh, yeah. I don't see any of these guys. I think, actually, right now, the strongest right now would probably be Shanks, as in experience wise and more knowledge of just like how the world is working. And he uses that to his favor uh, just because he has that knowledge. Especially, he has conversations with, you know, the elders and stuff. So he has an informational advantage at this point knowing what's what's available how to fight different techniques right and kind of like kaido right when he fought against kaido kaido he was figuring out more stuff about hockey in the in that fight but this is you're fighting against probably the best high, hockey user right best hockey so, yeah no, good yeah, he's, so, he's getting good at this devil fruit but but yeah true. like the whole thing with um now i brought it up like who's like who do you think the strongest is because Shanks pretty much scared, like made what's his name Green Bull shit his pants, like from a oh, long, yeah, from a long distance. Yeah, <laughs> so like, what would, you would say what like Shanks oh, and Big Mom are up there in the top, like top two probably for for Yonko and like for admirals. Like, if that guy got scared, like probably and Kizaru. What's his name? Akiano, Akiano and Kizaru, and then Akuiji. 
they're probably on a whole different level. This guy's probably like amateur, like, like, like he's yeah he's barely like considered admiral. Like you know I don't know like how it's a like how I, like the, I, like there's vice admirals and all of a lot of them suck, but like, most of them are free, like free. But then there's Garp and like that guy Mamanga, they're good. Yeah. And then there's that I don't know that's a horrible example, but yeah like this guy he's probably <laughs> like oh yeah what's his the other guy the the what ah, what's his name Fuji Fujitora oh yeah the blind guy the yeah. blind guy yeah like him he, he's a mixed bag like he stepped in because he's filling in the role for um, the other admiral that got promoted to fleet fleet admiral right what's his name. The one that turns into lava, that guy. Like, oh, yeah, Ak Akeanu. Yes. So he's a replacement for him since he got promoted. So with that being said, he's understanding his role. And I don't I don't think he likes it at all, right? Well, you can see, right, in, in, in the chapters, like he's doing stuff intentionally to get them pissed off. Like he's in a different location. He's not fighting Luffy or... He's not bringing him in or whatever, All right? So he is kind of like uh, what's uh, what's the other guy's name? Um, oh, hey. another admiral? Or... Yeah, the what's his name? I, I I always butcher his name. The one that uh that turns uh, the ice guy. Oh, uh, Akuiji. <laughs> See, Akuiji. I, I don't. He has another. But, uh, I, his other name, like, I, I don't remember his other name. It's, at the, I, I don't remember. But his other name is easier to say. I just don't remember it at the moment. Um, yeah, so I I think he's also going into a conflict of like that, like asking, you know, self questions. It's prob so. He's probably gonna go in the whole, be in the whole uh, Dumbledore S Snape situation where he's gonna have to prove himself by killing Garp. <laughs> Oh, good luck. Was, <laughs> by, 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 yeah, because they, because you know he's a good guy, and he's, some data book he revealed what Chopper's fruit, devil fruit looks like, and it's a, I think it looks like a mushroom from what I recall, and the the fruit that the guy was that Chopper was looking for was like a mushroom devil fruit, right? And this guy was talking about this mushroom is like it, it heals all disease, like cures all disease or something like that. This is what the video is talking about. Oh. Uh, the reason why Chopper couldn't, and it was on that island, on Drum Island. I think that's probably why Blackbeard, why else was Blackbeard there? Blackbeard went to Drum Island to probably look for that devil fruit, but Chopper had already eaten it. So when Chopper was looking for it, <clears throat> he found the, the poison one because he had already eaten it. But yeah, they're, they're both, you get me? So maybe if Chopper awakens, because Ch Chopper is able to see the weaknesses with his devil fruit power, right? Remember, he never does it, but like he's able to do that thing where he locks on and like finds a oh, weakness. Oh yes, the, the, brain, the brain, brain point or, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, and like people are saying, if he awakens his fruit, maybe like he's able to like cure any illness or something like that. Like make you uh -huh. like you know make a optimize a person. You know, you get what I'm saying. Versus the other guy, uh, Doc Q, who awakened his fruit, he's able to like make people sick turn them into females and all that like the virus or whatever oh or he turned right. law into a girl and that's that's probably a weight yeah that, that was, i think that's awakened already so mm -hmm. that could be you know the opposite polar the opposite of choppers oh, also another interesting thing is i need to look more into it. What, what's interesting about choppers fruit is it's called, it's called the ito ito also mm -hmm. like luffy's fruit i think that means like a human it's human's human a mythical human, human or something. But yeah, Chopper has the human fruit. Yes, yes, the human human fruit. Yeah, and another that video is also talking about how it could also be, um, how uh, uh, I forgot. I think it talked about how Zebek could have been not a human, and he ate the fruit or something. I don't know, something like that. But no, I, I've. That, it goes really, but but the, I thought that the stuff what I mentioned was really interesting about about Chopper. And I need the, to take a look at that. And one. the that whole was, thing that, where, it, where, it does make sense. Or Harry Luke was he? Um, he said he saw the the cherry blossoms, right? 
and like it healed he was sick of something and it, it healed him like he saw the cherry blossoms and like it magically like um and the pair and like also that's where the, the, the other time they showed cherry blossoms was when it was uh whitebeard and roger having sake together oh that's true yeah yes, i don't know if that's right. connected but i just wanted to bring that up but what if the whole thing that healed hero look was like he got the it was the mush like the devil fruit awakened that did that that's what he saw because why else was he trying to find like that thing that heals any weakness or any cureness any illness or whatever like he thought it was he thought it was the cherry blossoms but it was actually the like the um, the devil fruit or the chopper's fruit mm. plus it'll yeah. make them work like even connected i agree okay yeah. cool i need i need to actually watch that video then yeah. um so that, that that does kind of put in some perspective like that uh because as of right now i don't uh chopper needs to do something incredible in this this upcoming art because he needs to like there needs to be some more character development on i think on his side on uh on himself getting a little bit more stronger contributing more to the team yeah he needs to do something it's a dax socket that guy dax yeah the one i told you about it's one of his videos i just wanted to name drop it um yeah but yeah chopper him, needs some him. some more he needs a lot yeah hit him uh well nami got a power up yeah well she yeah she, uh, but yeah she, speaking of chopper like i liked his old like pre-time skip how he looked yeah like that when he turned into that monster or that his <laughs> buff form now all he does in time skip is like that, that circle that <laughs> kung fu thing oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, all yeah. He do, that's all he does <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> like I, I don't like seeing that <laughs> Yeah, yeah Bound, that, he's like a, just a bouncy ball or whatever. A yeah, ball. I, I did like it. Like, um, but I mean, maybe what you're saying here, but maybe at this point he did awaken his form, um, and that's his beast form, right? The one he has. That's probably his true awakening form. But if that's true, what's the next step from there? That's pro that uh, the the whole thing with Chopper that okay you know how like the the jailers from Impel Down the 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 monster the it was like a cow and like a centaur they're the ones Luffy, Luffy fought they were awakened crocodiles that oh these are awakened users they're the jailers and they like Luffy mm -hmm. Buggy and Mister Three fought them mm -hmm. you remember ah uh, yes but yes, yeah the, the crocodile the, the rip, cow yeah the yeah. cow and like I don't know they're like three of them. I think like a koala but yeah they were crocodiles that they were awakened but they were awakened the wrong way like they lost it like if you because vegapunk mentioned like you could lose control zone users are different when they awaken they have a chance of just losing losing themselves even luffy he kind of he's not himself he's like laughing like he's doesn't take things seriously um luchi kind of was normal but um but yeah, these guys couldn't control it. Chopper also, the rumber ball puts him in there where he loses control. So we don't even know what Chopper's real awakened fruit is. It could be anything. Like, it could be the whole, like, the whole like I was saying, the healing thing. Because so far, the, the closest thing we saw him using with this fruit was, yeah, like, trying to find a weakness, like, on, on something. True. And, um, yeah, he, yeah, that's, yeah. Spoilers made, made him smart <laughs> too. Yeah, spoilers. And, and, and another interesting thing, um, I, I mentioned it. The uh, Dufeld, he was also in. He's the guy that um, founded Mads. He he paid for it. Dufeld. He. Um, I don't know if you know who he is. He he was at the the tea party or the wedding with Stussy when they first introduced Stussy. He was he was part of the underground. And apparently Stussy sh killed him, but he could still be alive. But yeah, he's the guy that started Mads, Form Mads. Oh, okay. I see him here. Yeah, some really rich oh, guy. <clears throat> he came out in the yeah. anime and the manga. Yeah. He, he's some really rich guy. They haven't showed him since the tea party and whole cake. Stussy shot him. 
um, he really wanted the tomato box. What was in there? Oh, that's right. Yeah. And um, but now, Neil Mads is together, so maybe you know, he might have some relevance. But what I, I, I was seeing people bringing up, watching things that, and they mentioned that how he looks a lot like Crocodile. And wouldn't it make sense that the guy that formed Mads would want a clone of himself? Like, come on, there was all about cloning and all that. That was probably the main reason why it was formed. Like, wouldn't he want his own? And like another interesting thing is um, Buggy got a loan from Crocodile. Also, how did Crocodile have all that money to make the barricade works? And like, where did all that come from? True. Probably because you know he's the clone of Dufeld and he gets all that from Dufeld they're connected uh, and they both yeah smoke cigar they look they look yeah they look the same just he's the younger like he's like how Stussy's the younger version he could be or the other thing is Crocodile could be a, uh, a female or a Crocodile could be Luffy's mom there's those two there's all these Crocodile theories yeah oh, I have not <clears throat> heard that one pretty good there's videos about it everywhere but yeah you haven't heard about that yeah um the thing ivan uh <clears throat> didn't remember uh, at uh, marine ford uh ivan was blackmailing crocodile he's like if you don't help us i'm gonna tell uh straw hack about your secret or whatever and he's like no oh, don't tell him and he like freaked oh, out yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it was probably that. like a, you're his mom or you're a girl or something that i changed you from a female to a male uh huh. I, I yeah, I want to say it has has something to do with all those lines. Now him being the mom to Luffy, that's a I need to see that evidence on why that would be coming up there. Yeah, and if you but, like uh, look at the fight again, like viewing it like that when they're talking, it's like damn, she's just trying to make him stronger. <laughs> trying to kill him, <laughs> she, she never really killed I'll him. I'll try to kill him at the same time. <laughs> um. <laughs> But yeah, that, that whole thing about Crocodile being a clone. And then another thing that I never even... All, but all about clones. I never even considered it. That like all of... Maybe all of uh, Rocks was cloned. Stussy was part of Rocks. She got cloned. What if... Okay, then Whitebeard was it. And he has... There's a... Uh, what's his name? Weevil. He could be a clone. A failed clone. Right? Because Whitebeard was also part of Rocks. And now there's... Then there's Kaido. What if Yamato is a clone of Kaido? Okay. Okay. Which would yeah. explain a lot. Because we don't know anything. Why? Why is she there? We know nothing about her. No. No. Yeah. No. And that, that did. That was in my mind too. Like. And would it make sense, sense why like, she has conquerors hockey? She has. She's super strong. Yes, because uh, I don't see a way how Kaido can have a relationship with anybody. <laughs> anyway, <Yeah. laughs> so it just makes sense of like, let's just make a clone of you, and well, you're gonna have a strong person of yourself on your team. So it makes sense to have a clone, and there's not a whole lot of black backstory to her, as in like when she was younger, younger. Like, yes, there is a backstory whenever she was young, but where's the question is, who was the mom, right? Yeah. Who, there's a bunch of these, like, people that are just spontaneously born, right? But it also goes back to, like, the centerpiece of One Piece, right? Which has to be doing something with a reincarnation. Reincarnation. So if this is the way that they're doing that, then that's a little weird that, that that's pretty that's pretty messed up but i want to say um you're that's probably on the right track as to why they're cloning right but i was but, like man it's so obvious yamato a clone of Kai, like, why didn't i ever like that one makes a lot of sense um like it was i was like damn why didn't i think of that like i'm gonna coming up with all these clones that are obvious like why couldn't i why don't i see that one well well that's the thing too right because what was the the judges right they were cloning people there yeah. too and also so, i think if you go back to where they show all the clones the panel uh -huh, uh -huh. they all look like virgo oh yeah all the clones look like <laughs> virgo that's another interesting, interesting thing yeah your virgo is probably a clone mm. also i a thing i noticed 
just me. I never saw it anywhere. Is, um, Lilith kind of looks like, uh, what's her name? The girl from uh, um, Punk Hazard. The Harpy. Um, what's her name? The Snow Girl. Oh yes, the one that uh, had the her legs as as yeah. uh, some type of bird or something like that. Yeah, my cat really wants to come. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she is banging on the door. Well, I'm gonna let him in. <clears throat> Crash. Okay, you can come in, Crash. <laughs> it's okay. Crash, what happened? <clears throat> Crash, read. Man, my cra the cow was gonna break the door. Ah, damn. He really wanted to be in my room. It's okay. <laughs> uh, so what we're we talking about? Need to get back to the uh, L Lilith uh, yeah. right now. Yeah. You were talking about Lilith. How she looked like uh, that um, other character. Uh, Mo and, Monet. Uh, Monet. Monet. My, you see yeah. my cat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cutie. But yeah, the. Um, Yeah, she's Sugar's sister also. I don't know if you knew that. She's Sugar's <clears throat> sister? Yeah. Don't I, you know what? Them. I think I remember reading that somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. But um, back to the whole thing of the, with Mads. Like, I, don't know, I just find it really interesting. Like We got like a lot of panels with that backstory. And that's cool. It'd be cool if they animate all that. And like how it's connected to with Vegapunk. Like, are they gonna go? Is our Mad like? Cause you know who else was part of Mads? Queen. Queen was part of Mad, and Queen is probably in Impel Down. Is Mads gonna? Are they gonna try to break out? Break them out? King is probably there too, and King's a Lunarian. Will they? <clears throat> um, will they go to Egghead to try to get Vegapunk? But what's go they're gonna get mixed up with everything? Will they? Will another Vegapunk join them? Lil, like maybe Lilith or something. She's. And how are all these other characters that are getting like Stone? How are they gonna get Unstone? Like. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, um. Because I mean, because Hancock, the the S Snake, she killed Pythagoras. Or she tried to kill her. We thought she killed Pythagoras. She thought she killed Pythagoras, right? What stopped her from? Why didn't she kill Frankie or Usopp? They were. Super killable. They're super killable right now. Yeah, right now. To shatter are. them, yeah. She didn't. Why? Mm -mm. Yeah. Um, maybe yeah. this particular one is just waiting for orders. Like, maybe it was just to capture them, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, they, we need a little bit more uh, for context. But I think... <sighs> Well, they're still trying to go after Robin, right? So maybe they're still trying to set up the that particular scenario again, where they're trying to take Robin. So I think at this point, maybe they're trying to do like an exchange. I don't know. I really don't know. Like what CP CP zeros has in plan for that. If we, because if they're trying to just disable, you know, the fr Frankie and Usopp without actually hurting or killing them, right? Because it could it could still be undone, then it either one they're just uh, disabling them, and then just taking them all in, or they really want Nico Robin, and then maybe they'll do like uh, this some type of prisoner exchange. <laughs> the, um, this she actually also I was noticing uh, the S Snake. She kind of does seem like an opponent Usopp would have, but he is turned to stone. So if he does get unstoned. Unpetrified, like yeah, because he fought. He his battle was against Sugar. His other battle, I think, was against the the girl from the Barricade Works, the painter girl. Oh yeah. Also the Perona. And then what was his other one? Um, kind. If you consider the 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 girl from the 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 Toby Robo, what's her name? Ulti, the girl that could turn into a dinosaur. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, he kind of has, yeah, like girl opponents, young sometimes. I guess you could say so. S Snake 
seems like a good opponent for him or the right yeah. opponent. Yeah. That's and, a, and, and he's there. And, he, and he's another character that needs to step up to. So it would be kind of cool if he was able to figure out a way to defeat them a little bit faster versus the way Zoro's explaining it, right? Um, <clears throat> that'd be a little interesting oh, if he does figure out a speaking way. Speaking of Zoro, you know how they called Kaku Usopp or Luffy called Kaku Usopp? Oh, yeah. I was laughing so hard on that. So... <laughs> um, Back in Water Seven, I consider when I say Water Seven, I mean uh, CP Nine or all that, all that, all that, all that, uh, everything. Uh, Andy's lobby. That, all that. That's all. That's Water Seven. Yeah. Okay. When I say Water, okay. I mean that. Okay. Just okay. Yeah. For future preference. Well, okay. In Water Seven, when it was the Kaku versus Zoro, you know who else is there? Usopp. That's true. And yeah. you know who was Zoro's sword? Oh, that's right. It's Usopp. Right. You know who else might be Zoro's sword? Usopp. But you know who else is Usopp? Kaku. And <laughs> Kaku could be like an awakened sword, a black blade or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. That, uh... <laughs> That's crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Um... But... Going back, yeah, U Usopp needs to needs to step it up in this one. Otherwise, I think he's going to be far behind. There needs to be a power up or some type of hindsight. So far, at this point, the only other person there's only been what like, well, with the addition of Jim being now, it's one, two, three, four people in that crew that, well, I honestly only two people honestly that can honestly use hockey. And actually know how to use it and train for it, right? That's Jim B and Luffy. Zoro does use hockey, but doesn't really know much about it. Well, he, and so does Sanji. He, well, okay, well, Sanji's got observation hockey. He could practice. He could kind of predict the future. He, it's like what Katakuri, Luffy could kind of do it too. But I think Sanji might have better better control of it than Luffy. Maybe Zoro could has. Conquerors hockey and Zoro could use advanced conquerors hockey, mm -hmm. which is like really good. But but, it's but good. It's good. Zoro doesn't. I don't think he doesn't know he's using it. Like I yeah. think when yeah. he does Ashura, mm -hmm. when like that that's advanced conquerors hockey. I think. Yeah, because I think at that point you're fighting with. Uh, yeah, Zoro's Zoro, Zoro always been the strongest in the crew. He's been using. Rio since Bar since was it the uh, Alabasta? Yeah, he's been using yeah. hockey like this. He's been ahead. He's been way ahead. He, he's been ahead in that point, but not knowing he was ahead. <laughs> yeah, not knowing. Yeah, <laughs> not he was already using all these advanced techniques, not realizing they're advanced <laughs> techniques. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, because no, his, sense, only... his sense of direction is bad. That's why he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't know where he's. He doesn't know he's already on the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if he knows that, okay, we can give like there's four people in that crew that can use hockey, but only mm. two really know how to really use it well, which is Luffy and Jimby, right? And then who else uh, besides that? Sanji well, uh, and Us Zoro. Usopp also has observation. He used it in yeah. uh, Dress well, Rosa. He used it. Yes, he did use it in Dress Rosa, but we haven't seen it since then. But yeah, it, they they have like different kinds of specialties like like also what's her name nami might have uh conquerors hockey also because she's able to hurt luffy and oh, she's able true. she also might have some really good observation hockey because she's able to sense the weather and all that true that okay and then yes. also yeah jim even jimbei was like is that is that conquerors hockey when recently oh, that's yeah. right. when, he, <laughs> when he hits luffy yeah. <laughs> also the, the uh, other thing could just be luffy thinks she's gonna hit hurt him so his fruit his imagination fruit pretty much oh, makes true. it like make like she pretty much gives her conquerors hockey just for that moment it could be either yeah. one i'm not sure but I prefer her having good conquerors hockey with that. Conquerors hockey. Yeah, I prefer that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and well, then I, I, and I, then I... Usopp probably has yeah. conquerors hockey also. Because how he, that that's what he did to get sugar to freak out sugar. 
it was probably he didn't really like it was like he triggered his conquerors hockey but through like comedy or like being by accident you get me like he's he freaked out pudding no you know what's your name sugar he scared sugar like yeah 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 no, he did and that could be some kind of uh con conquerors hockey just conquerors hockey not advanced and I think he even um, said he has it too. He mentioned his lies come true, but I, I could see Usopp getting conquerors hockey. He seems like a I, character I, that would I, have it. I think it needs to happen in the sense where it's like um, Oda needs to really, really uh, start making that really known versus us guessing because at this point we're trying to ha see that character development. Right? What's the next step for these people? Because uh, if they do have hockey, we need it to make it more apparent in the fights, fight scenes. Oh, I think right? they are in the anime. Aren't they doing that? Well, not to the point where it's like definitive. Um, because at this point, it's just like they're getting extremely lucky, right? Or they are, they do win some of the fights, but the fights are not one any different than the previous ones. So it's, there needs to be something definitive as, you know, like, okay, I do have this hockey. There is this breaking moment where like, I, I, sh I understand how to use it, right? Because I don't see that happening in their fights. And I think if, if he is towing with the idea that they do have hockey, then it needs to come out soon because I don't see this character development growing um, unless he throws in there some type of specialty attack or, are some growth but like they don't have devil fruits right well there's, so... there's okay there, there's hockey and then there's devil fruit powers and also there's probably like stuff with the soul like because nami i don't know what i'm trying to say like nami is has zeus right that's its name the cloud and that's part of big mom's devil fruit and well if zeus is still around that means She's probably still, Big Bomb's probably still alive. And it's like, yeah, what it's I like, say. it's like, it's like her soul, like part of her soul. And then, um, maybe what I'm trying to say is the, the underworld, like Zoot, what's his name? Uh, Brooke is able to get ice from the underworld. Like, is that part of his devil fruit or is that like, is he actually able to do something like with his soul? Cause he's the soul king also. He's able to use his soul. Is that hockey is that conquers hockey like like when he does music i want to because what 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 uh what was his fruit again that he ended up getting no, i don't know like, what was the they, name of it I, I i i i don't know but i know what you're talking about it's the, the one that brings you back to life yeah well if that's the case and that's why maybe it's the yomi yomi no me that's what it's called but let's see here what is it oh and then there's what fishman karate <laughs> is that that allowed his soul oh okay that allowed his soul to return to the world of the living and re-inhabit his body after he died it's... ah here it is is a Parisia type devil fruit which enhances the user's soul to the point where they resurrected resurrect after their first death allowing them to live a second time and to use ser several other soul based abilities yeah ah, okay that makes sense making the user a reviving human it was in her book. yeah the soul seems interesting because then also the what, what's Vegapunt mentioned the whole thing about the soul like when a when a was it when a person dies mm -hmm. they they a part of a part of their soul leaves or something the body and it weighs a certain amount and um, oh yeah yeah it might have something to do with shadows with hogback like oh oh that's right you you were discussing this yes well i think last time yeah yeah but yeah the but yeah, I get what you were trying to say with the whole, like, the Straw Hat crew. Like, what are they, they're going to have to step up their game. Like, if they're going to keep up with the, the bigger. But still, I already think they're 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 pretty stacked. Like, 
they got wacky powers like nami has nami is practically a yonko like she has she has a yonko power with her <laughs> like if you think about it um um and uh they got jinbei which is who is a warlord and he knows fishman karate which is really good especially if you're in the on the ocean in the water that's pretty much like gg like that's free like jinbei's an automatic win against practically everyone that has a pirate ship <laughs> just him alone um and then they have frankie who has s- one of the few things that could stop a seraphim his beam apparently seraphims are weak to his beam mm-hmm. and he used he made the thousand the thousand sunny which was um made with uh which is probably some kind of related to pluton or something because he knows what pluton is he saw the blueprints and he then he made the thousand sunny mm-hmm. and um who, who, oh, Ch- chopper okay chopper needs for sure chopper robin uh she seems like she relies too much on the devil fruit robin she heard she's, robin? Re- she's uh, really yeah. she's gotten really good with her devil fruit. i think she's awakened it she's gotten really mm-hmm. but besides like if you like disable her from devil fruit like yeah she she, she's pretty good with her devil fruit she's just she's like if if they were an rpg robin would be like the spellcaster she her like spent her magic attack would be super high her and nami (laughs) yeah yeah, Yeah. i guess you could take a look at it that way yeah Yeah. Um, um i do think yeah she needs like i think some of the crew members need to start learning their abilities as in like if if they do possess hockey then they need to practice using it because if they need to strengthen that uh that ability and but i don't see that and that's the thing he i don't he also has a lot of potential he's able to use the underworld and ice and all that (laughs) i remember reading a theory a long time ago that that he could be the father of Akoiji, the 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 ice admiral, or the former because <laughs> of the fro. Or the, what? the fro. <laughs> they both they both can use ice, and they both kind of look sim- similar if you think about it. True. Or maybe and another clue. Also, ah. Brook is old. He is old. Really old. So it would make kind of you know maybe be about right being his dad, or grandpa. Hmm. Oh, the. I was bringing this up. He was, he, he's, because I was watching, rewatching that uh, that arc, just a little bit of a chunk. But like uh, the Sabadi or arc where they get separated, right? And they're talking to Rayleigh, and he's talk, he's talking about the Pirate King's crew, and or Goldie Rogers crew, right? And he mentioned that he that crew sounds familiar that it was a rookie's crew. So he was Brooke is part of two generations two generations ago. Yeah. Because he was part of the ready at the end of the old crew that he considered Goldie Roger as a rookie. So makes you wonder how much does brooke really know i mean is he part of of a historical time where he maybe he knows information that maybe he's not aware of yeah the right the the name of his captain was york yorkie i think it was yorkie mm-hmm. not york i need to look it up um brooke the spade no the the, the rumbar pirates rumbar mm-hmm. Pirates captain. What's his name? Yorkie. Calico Yorkie. That was his name. Um, they never really show him die, die. He could still be alive. And that il- yeah, that, that illness. What is that illness? Like, is that the same illness a Roger got? Mm. A- and um, back to the whole thing with with the music. Like I find it interesting, like who is Binks? Binks, Sake, 
there's sake, like, come on, there's alcohol. And then the, the whole song, the lyrics itself, like, it talks about Laugh Tale and it talks about, it's really important. It probably talks about where the One Piece is and all that. Mm-hmm. That's, and then the, like, these names and the Davy Davy back fight. I think I told you the other time, like, who's Davy? They're trying to get Davy back. Like, somebody, like, was it a whale? Like, is it a whale from the past? Was it an ancient weapon? Like, because we got, like, the, the, um, the egg. What the F is that egg that was on Shanks' crew? Like, on not Shanks' crew, Shanks' ship, that red egg. It was probably an ancient weapon. The egg? Remember, they, whenever they would show Shanks' ship, there would be a big egg on top of it. You don't ever remember ever seeing a big egg. Look up Shank. Just look up like Google Shanks. Shanks ship. I don't know what it's called. Okay, I'm looking at it. Uh, hold on. But not Shanks ship. Roger ship. Roger. My bad. Oh, Roger I'm ship. like what? My bad. My bad. I mix them up sometimes. You don't remember an egg on Roger ship? The Oral Jackson. If you just Google it, you'll see it. The egg is a yeah. dragon. You think it's a dragon? It is a Uranus, the god of dragons. D means dragon. Those of the D clan can speak to. Whoa. Is these this are just, a? These are just a, theories. Theories. Okay, but yeah. that is actually a good theory. <laughs> I'm already getting all. This. Yeah. Once you start, di- you dig. You. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, the. That egg, what is that? It, it is. It's probably one of them. It's either it's Poseidon, and then the, what's the other one? Uh, Pluton, and the other one is um, uh, Poseidon, Pluton, uh, ancient weapons. Uranus. Uranus. Yeah, Uranus is probably the the sky one. The, but yeah, it could be it could be a bird or something. Like you control, you could control the weather. Cause in in chapter zero, the I think it was the Ed War. It was I don't know if you ever read it. Um, it was uh Roger versus Shiki, and Shiki I think had the upper hand. He had this big all this fleet with him versus just Roger alone. And when Shiki was gonna start the attack, a big storm came in and pretty much effed up Shiki and everyone he was with. And that's what gave him the thing on his head. The <laughs> he lost both his legs, I think, and like the the pirate wheel landed on his head and became part of his head. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, the it, and that Roger had the egg with him, mm-hmm. and that I thought that was interesting. Yeah, I I need to look more into this egg. I didn't even realize it was there. Now there's man i need to yeah you're right looking at all uh, that uh, also another interesting thing um do you remember um uh, what's his name karibu karibu the swamp guy oh that was over there in uh in uh sky Egg- island no 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 karibu the, the swamp guy he was part of the new supernovas after the time skip he was with the straw hats he went he went he was on sabody when they on the after after the time skip post time skip he was in sabody he went with them to fishman island he, he, he oh yes them. yes yes yeah he's like a uh, he, uh, he went with them to war a sand character he's a what is it a sinking sand character yeah a swamp. mud character he's a swamp. yeah well um he's on egghead yes and i think back in fishman island when he learned about he knows about he oh, one second I got a phone call it's my sister hello you outside is the door locked okay okay I need to open the door for my sister be right back yeah go ahead
Oh, I'm back. So, okay, what were we talking about again? We were talking about the swamp guy. Oh yeah. So back about him. So you know he there was a, he was part of a cover story where some old little some old lady found him and took care of him and she thought oh, he was yes, this guy I named Gab, Gabino Gab, Gabrio or something and he was a revolutionary. Was he connected to the revolutionaries with dragon? Did he know dragon? How was what? I, who was this guy? Was he the dude swamp guy's brother? Is the swamp guy a clone of that guy? Like, who is this guy? I just, I find that really interesting. Like, because back in, I think, Fishman Island, yeah, Karibo, he knows about Poseidon already. He also knows about Pluton, where it's at. It's at Wano. And he knows about two of the ancient weapons. He knows, has all this info. And back in... Fishman Island he said that he he want, once after he learned about Poseidon he wants to tell someone like should I I need to tell this I need to tell them this I need to tell him this or tell them mm. he mentioned someone who is that person people thought it was Kaido people thought it was who was a do flamingo well probably isn't now anymore so who is he referring to is a dragon is he so is he re- actually really a revolutionary a revolutionary yeah. I, I don't see that I mean, they originally met, right, you know, on uh, Sabody Island, right? Yeah. Um, I don't, because otherwise he would have known uh, Robin, no, at this point. And why did he want to kidnap? Oh, we'll see. Yeah, that's right. He wanted to kidnap the, the that uh, the mermaid chick. I forgot her name. Yeah. Shishirori. Shishirohoshi. Shishirohoshi. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I I don't think that is. But you're that is a good question to ask. Who does he swear his allegiance to? That I feel yeah, like he's he, just he knows, caught, he's, he's just big news. It could be big news this, Morgan but, also. Like the yeah, because this guy's got some big. He knows a lot of things. Like he he knows. He's just there. He, he's probably there chilling somewhere in Egghead. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Um, well, I do have other, uh, let me see, where is it? One piece topics. I do have other topics to discuss, but I don't know if we want to discuss them now. We can use them for, our, for the next podcast, but well, we, we can formulate like, uh, what exactly, uh, we want to talk about next in the next, uh, next one. But, uh, I do got to already have to hop off. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, okay. No, I was okay. It's okay. It was, I don't know how long it was, it was going on for. We were going on for a while. Yeah, yeah. I see the stream's already been for an hour, but I do. Really? Are you well, serious? I, yeah, it's already been an hour. Yeah, look at the time. It's oh, that had comments. I didn't even see my comments. So, okay. <laughs> oh, no, I, I guess I got, I got lurkers. Hey, lurkers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said they'll mute, but they'll watch. Oh, yeah, it's lurkers. Thank you. I, yeah. love, I love you, lurkers. I lurked. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, I'm going to probably uh, just uh, get on a game really quick with League, and then I'm going to call it a yeah. night. We I, could, got, I got work too much. Yeah, but yeah, no, we could try again, to do it. For next chapter, there's no break, so... Oh, that's lot, right. Yeah, that's so right. I feel like next chapter we could easily get a time skip, as in like the next day, or we could go like mm. a week later. We could, they could easily do that, or with the Grand Fleet again evolve. But yeah, and like I feel like anything could happen. Something big is gonna happen, like especially with no break. Like, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. There, be ready. There has to be something. There has to be something big in this next chapter, which is interesting. I want to see what's gonna happen. Yeah. But All yeah, right. Well, after thank- yeah, the chapter. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, uh, hit me up, and then uh, we'll try to see if we can set it up this uh, either this weekend or throughout the week. See what we can do. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks for stop for uh, stopping by for the. I was gonna say the Discord, the podcast, <laughs> JTD. I'll, let, I'll refer to you as that if you're okay with that. I don't know. Yeah. All good. Yeah. All good. Okay. Until next time. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Later. All right. Later. Bye. Bye.